Hello. I hope you can hear me now. I don't think that really counts. I've been talking. Hmm. checking out my settings. Maybe it's not, maybe the audio is disabled or something. Uh, I tested it earlier. And it was working, but... Hmm. So anyway, did you have a good Christmas? taking a look at some of my settings here, Josh, trying to see if I can figure out why it's not. Getting any sound. Okay, well that's good at least. So streaming is just running slow then, I suppose. Yeah, I got a brand new um, webcam. 
and it has like a built-in um, sound audio and it even like pans. I don't know if you can notice like as I move it like focuses on my face. It's pretty cool. Um, do to do to do. Yeah, so at least now I can do live chats. That's good at least. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out this whole webcam thing, like why it's not. Oops, I totally messed my hair up. <laughs> been trying to figure out why I had no sound earlier and uh, apparently it was because I had no microphone so. sorry my hair is like oh <laughs> uh, close enough so you want to see one of the snakes Hold on just a second, let me, let me uh, go get him. Be right back. Alrighty, so this is Bowser, and he is a Central American boa, and he is a male. He's probably about a year and a half old now. <laughs> I think he's coming to say hi. So the Central American boas um, are actually pretty interesting. They are, um, they have a prehensile tail. So this actually like little grippy tail helps them stay in the trees. They are an arboreal species and prefer to stay in the trees. And uh, they also, like some of the uh, other boas and pythons, they actually have uh, teeny tiny little what they call anal spurs down here around their vent. And those are actually what they consider vestigial legs. Um, his are really, really tiny, but on some of our bigger ones, oh, oh, that's the camera dude. Okay. On some of our bigger snakes, you can actually see the uh, the um, anal spurs a little bit better. But he's a very friendly guy. He's also a very curious snake. He's a very good eater. Um, he is eating small rats to large mice. He's kind of in like that in between stage right now. But uh, yeah. So he's, he's real pretty. He's got a little mustache on his face. I don't know if you can see it right under his nose. A little mustache right there. Yep, that's so cute. He also has a cross on his forehead. <laughs> I 
So this is this is our Central American boa. He's uh, being very active tonight. They are actually a nocturnal species. My creature. Sorry, one of the kitty cats is up here. Move. No, you can't be on the keyboard. Hi, creature. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, you want me to get one of the other snakes out? Okay. I'll get our one that people don't get to see very often because he's very, very shy. He doesn't like loud noises. Um, he's just a very shy little snake. Oh, oh, he's got a grip on him. Okay, thank you. Let go now. All right, let's go put you up. I'll be right back. So, I don't know if you heard the little the little hissing there, but this is Loki, and he's one of our little boys that doesn't get out very often, um, mainly because he's shy, and the reason he's all hissy is because um, he's actually sucking in his breath. That's actually what makes that hissing sound, so he's kind of going, don't touch me. Um, but yeah, he is a ball python, and he is a pastel. Um... You can kind of tell some of his pretty coloring there. And his eyes, we found the difference between the pastels and the regulars is in their eyes. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell very well from this video, but, um, <coughs> excuse me, his eyes are actually like a green color, which on the normal granite colors, the snake's eyes are black. So I don't know if you can kind of tell, but that's why we're, we're pretty sure he's a pastel. Um, the pet store we got him from had no idea what color he was, and Casey and I are still learning a lot about snakes. But So ball pythons come from Africa, whereas Central American, obviously from Central America, around Costa Rica and Nicaraguan area, and the uh, African ones uh, come from more of like Central Africa. And so these are actually more of a what they consider a ground snake. They prefer to stay on the ground. So you can kind of tell his tail is not nearly as long. There's his vent right there. So it doesn't have nearly as long of a tail as Bowser does. And... Uh, is not nearly as grippy. I mean, he can use it a little bit to kind of grip onto my thumb, but not a whole lot. Um, so yeah, this is this is Loki, and he is also probably about a year and a half old. Um, he's actually a little bit on the skinny side. He's a very picky eater, so that you can see his spine here, and we've had a hard time getting him to eat. Um, he should be eating larger prey than what he was when we first got him. He was only wanting to eat mice. Um, and he should have been eating rat pups or uh, small rats. And um, eventually we have basically fed him two or three times a week and got him to where his 
hunger level was up a little bit more and he was more able to eat. And uh, now he is actually eating small rats uh, pretty frequently now. So he's come a long way. Um, we're hoping that he will continue to gain weight. Believe it or not, he's actually fatter than when we first got him. He, uh, he just is a picky little eater. And uh, because of him and our other, our other large ball python, uh, Lucy, but she's downstairs. She's rather large. Uh, Casey and I have decided we don't think we're going to get any more ball pythons. They are just a very, eh, no. They are just a very picky, finicky eating. Um, my sand boa and my uh, Central American boa, we've never had problems with them not eating or attempting to eat their prey. They'll even eat pre-killed. Um, but unfortunately, our, our ball pythons, they would just rather curl up into a ball and be big, ba big babies about everything. So, let's see. He's so cute. But ball pythons get their name because when um, they're threatened, they do tend to curl up into this kind of a, a ball shape. Um, so, eh, eh, no. Creature's trying to get to him. Um, so, also, the females, when they lay a clutch of eggs, the females tend to wrap around them and incubate them, and they will protect them, uh, kind of in the ball shape. So that was another reason why they got the name of a ball python, because they will essentially curl up into a ball. So, and my hair is all, all screwed up. Ooh. Yeah, this is Loki. So he's one that we don't get out very often just because he's really shy and we don't like to stress him out. Um, he's come a long way from when we first got him. How about you How about you uh, unravel just a little bit, bud? I'm sure everybody would like to see how long you really are. <laughs> he's actually quite long. I can't even get all of them in the video here. There you go. So, this is Loki. And um, the other one that's up here is Urza. So, I'll get her. Um, probably not going to get Lucy out tonight just because um, she's all the way downstairs. So, we can make that another video. Be right back. So this is Miss Urza, and she is a Kenyan sand boa. So these are another type of snake that comes from Africa, and they also like the dry environments, much like the uh, ball pythons. They like a little bit of humidity, 
right around shed time. But um, these guys are another type of a ground snake. They prefer to be in the ground rather than hanging in the air like this. So, <laughs> um, and sand boas are burrowing little snakes. And they get their name because a lot of times they like to burrow into loose substrate, a lot like sand. And uh, what I have her in is wood chips because I'm not a big fan of using sand for reptiles. It just causes a lot of impaction problems. But oh, they want to see your pretty colors, not your belly. There you go. Okay. So um, the sand boas like to hide in loose substrate oftentimes sand or wood chips or loose dirt and they will wait with just their eyes poking out um, or maybe the top of their head they'll make a little burrow and when prey comes by they they pop out and wrap and constrict their prey and eat them so these guys prefer to hide matter of fact little miss urza here she makes uh makes lots of burrows and just for fun, we have fed her in the tank a couple of times just to watch her natural instinct, which, you know, is, is pretty cool. But uh, I don't really condone uh, feeding snakes in tanks, um, mainly, at least not on a regular basis. It's okay if you're in a hurry, but um, if you feed your tanks in their, or feed your snakes in their enclosures, um, it can actually lead to them mistaking your hand for food the next time you reach in to feed them. So we take all of our snakes out um, when it's time for feeding time and we have separate containers that we feed them in. And um, so that's what we do. She's now, when we first got her, she was eating pinky mice. And now she is eating small mice. Um, kitty cat, what are you doing? Get off, off. Cute kitten, snake. <laughs> they don't mix. The cats are constantly trying to uh, get into the, to get close to see the snakes. But um, so an, another interesting little fact about the Kenyan sand boas: they are live bearers. Um, also the. Um, Central American boas are also live bearing. So what that means is that um, they basically do not lay eggs like the ball pythons do. Um, or as a lot of people think of most reptiles laying eggs. These guys will actually gestate the entire period of their pregnancy inside. And then when the uh, babies are ready to hatch, they come out miniature little copies and they're ready to go from day one no wait no waiting for hatching so um, they're very interesting creatures I used to think it was kind of gross that they did that I, don't know, I always thought of um, Indiana Jones and the uh, Temple of Doom when they like cut open the snake and all the babies come out snake surprise Ugh. But really, I guess it's not that bad. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's, it's how they give birth. Some, some animals come out of eggs and others come out live. Humans do the same thing. A lot of mammals do a lot of the same things, too. Um, Kenyan sand boas are actually communal type snakes. They actually prefer to, um, or that not prefer, I guess, would be the but they can actually live together with other sand boas peacefully without fighting. Whereas ball pythons and even the Central American boas are not really supposed to be together. Um, they will eventually end up fighting. Um, you know, if you're doing breeding or whatever like that, that's okay, I guess. But So yeah, looks like we had somebody else join us. Hi! Um, so yeah, we've got the little Kenyan sand boa. She's gotten a lot bigger from when we first got her. She was originally like maybe, I don't know, six inches and now she's like a foot and a half. So, uh, she will eventually maybe get up to about three feet. That's about as big as the females will get. I don't know if you can see her cute little face. They actually have a shovel nose. 
So you see where her tongue's coming out there. And the shovel nose actually allows them to burrow uh, down into the substrate, into the ground, and keep their tongue safe. And her eyes are up on top of her head, so I don't know if you could kind of tell, but that's a little bit different from some of the other snakes that I was showing you earlier. Oh, you gonna say hi? Or as it says hi, everybody. <laughs> she's quite long. Yeah, she's now uh, about as thick, if not a little bit thicker than my thumb now. So she's she's gained quite a bit of weight. Alrighty, so that's that's the snakes. Um, I don't know what else you guys would like to see. I know uh, I would like to do some more of the. Uh, Meet the Foy family videos. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys even like that, but you know, I've been trying to show like one cat, one dog, one uh, reptile, and I just haven't done any of the ones for the reptiles yet. But basically, kind of like feature them a little bit. So, like I said, these are ground species. She. Most of the time, it took a long time for her to learn how to wrap around my arm like this. Because <laughs> she's like, it's not in my nature to wrap. Alrighty, well, uh, let me put her up and then, then we can get back to our video. Oh, I'm going to be right back. Oh, there's Creature. Hi, Creature. Say hi. No, you can't have the snake. So I did decide to get Bowser back out again. I've kind of neglected him lately and haven't given him much attention. <clears throat> and he's being very curious today. Uh, uh, no, we don't hit the snakes. Sorry. Uh, creature just swatted at Bowser. So that's why I said cats and snakes don't really mix. I do not ever recommend leaving cats alone with any animal. Um, are you going to go up in my hair? Okay. So, um, some of you probably that have known me before, uh, years ago, probably three years ago, uh, this would have never have happened. Um, I used to be terrified of snakes. And Casey loved them. He always wanted a pet snake. And... I was kind of, nah, I don't think so, but then I met a sand boa, fell in love with them, and um, now I've got four snakes, so, oh, <laughs> I got a snake head bed, headband going on here. <laughs> Come on up. So, yeah. This is what I do in the evening. I play with my pets. We've got cats, we've got dogs, we've got snakes, we've got um, <laughs> our lizards are downstairs. I'd like to have it introduce them one day. Getting my hair all messed up, dude. So, so the, uh, the dogs are over here. You can see them. There's Dashi and Lily. I don't know where Josie's at. Josie! Josie! 
She might be downstairs, but this is Lily. And this is Dashi. We've got one of the cats is over there in our Goodwill bags that we haven't taken off to Goodwill yet. Um, Clay, that's Bash. And then over here I've got uh, Blue Boy, one of the kittens we've been trying to find homes for. <laughs> um, for those of you just joining, this is uh, Bowser here. He's one of our Central American boas. Or he is our Central American boa. One of our snakes. Just the camera. So I'm still learning how this live stream thing works. It's very different. I have not done uh, social media in forever. So this is about as much social media as I do. I don't do Facebook. Um, yeah, we haven't had that in a long time. So, do you guys questions? <laughs> We've got two people watching. So, Josh, do you have a question? Do you have something you want me to talk about? I know you were giving me some good ideas at the uh, family get together about things to add to my YouTube channel. So, I've been thinking about some of that. Um, I've also been working on um, editing where we've been putting in our our wall in our basically our like rec room we've been dividing that into um, another room basically it's going to be a guest room so this is blue boy hanging out down here this is this is this is me. Anytime I'm at the computer, there's always some sort of a critter either here or on my lap, or there's actually a creature is behind me on the pillow. Oh, I'm uh, adding a link on there for the, the guest room up there. Um, it's just going to be a guest room, so when people come over, we don't have a place for people to really stay. Um, they get the computer room with the snakes, which some people don't like the snakes, so uh, that kind of limits their options. Um, so basically the, the guest room is going to be maybe like my sewing room where we put my sewing machine and then we're going to move the queen mattress and queen bed up and get a king size bed for our master bedroom. So that's kind of the plan for all of that. And then uh, the room that I'm in right now, this is right now our guest room. But like I said, some people don't like uh, staying with the snakes. So um, 
It's actually my computer and music room. There's my piano in the background there. Um, ooh, piano. Um, so I actually do stuff on my computer. I have the reptiles in here and then um, my piano as well. It's my music room. So. And then the area right at the top of our stairs, Josh, there, uh, Casey's wanting to turn that into a gaming room. So there would be my hair. looks horrible. Sorry. This bows are getting all messed up again. Uh, but yeah, the area at the top of the stairs, Casey's going to turn into a gaming room. We're going to get another large computer up there. Um, uh, TV and some gaming consoles. I think you've said something about he wants to get some darts and just turn it into a little gaming room. Man cave, I guess, um, since I kind of took over this room. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we could do that. Um, Casey might be more interested in doing that than me. Uh, I get pretty competitive with my games, uh, and I get really frustrated. So um, probably not a good thing for me, but Kay that Casey might enjoy doing that. Nose itches. Get off of that. Get down. Off. That's enough. Leave him alone. The uh, cats were trying to get into the one of the snake tanks, so I to stop that. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I've been kind of surprised that people have seemed to have enjoyed watching some of my vlogs. Um, I don't think my life is that interesting, but um, I guess, you know, you just never know what you've got going on until somebody else sees it. Um, it's just kind of an interesting thing. Got about twenty more minutes here, and then I'll I'm gonna probably end the end the live stream for today. I don't want to go past much of an hour. It just takes a really long time for stuff to upload when you get like close to an hour of live stream. <laughs> Hey, come here. Come on. Oh, come here, Lily. Come on. Jump up. One, two, three. Go. Thank you. Oh, 
I lost a viewer. Guess I wasn't interesting enough. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> Wow, I didn't realize that it's already, I guess I started it at 8, so. Okay, Bowser. He's quite a strong little snake. He doesn't realize how strong he grips sometimes, I think. Our larger snake, I don't let come around my neck at all. Like, um... Lucy's big enough, she could probably choke out a full grown man if she got around the neck, right? This guy, he's borderline. Um, he's pretty strong. He grips on. Look at that tail. <laughs> I love his tail. He likes to hang on to my fingers. Sasha, give me a pumpkin. Give me a pumpkin. Okay, ready? Get it. All right, dude. You're, you're tightening up a little bit much here. Oh, here's a good hint. Uh, if you guys ever get a snake or have a pet snake, and they start wrapping really tight, um, if you start at their tail, you can start unwrapping them and you can unwrap them much easier than if you try to grab their head because a lot of times their head area they might potentially bite you that way too especially if they're tightening because they're uh, getting ready to strike so if you grab at the tail so you can see how wrapped up he is if you grab at the tail then you can gently start unwinding them and unwind them He's a very windy snake. He likes to wrap around everything. He's a very pretty color. He's like a gray color. I actually don't even name him gray, but no, Casey wanted to name him because apparently I never let him name any of the animals. So um, he wanted to name him Bowser. And he says if we get a little female, he's going to name it. Uh, Princess Peach, I think is what he said. So, Peach. <laughs> Dashi, come here. Leave the cats alone. Lie down. Hey, thank you. Good boy. Oh, my hair is driving me nuts. <laughs> oh, well. I kind of messed it up myself. And then, there. Woo, yeah. Okay. And then Bowser kind of messed it the rest of the way up for me. Look at that cute little face.
We have a very quiet house when the dogs aren't barking. It's very quiet. All right, well, I don't really have anything else tonight um, that I was wanting to go over. Um, I would really just wanted to test out the new video camera and see if it was going to work with the audio. And it looks like it is, so that's pretty awesome. Now I can maybe plan some live events. Um, I don't know, just let me know what you guys would like to, to see. I know, Josh, you've given me several ideas. Um, other people have given me some other ideas. They're like, I just don't type. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> that's fine. But, uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys would like to see. And uh, questions, maybe I can answer in some of my next videos. And be watching out for uh, later. I'll be working, or I am working on it right now, trying to get an, up up, an upload of our... Um, remodeling project update. Um, basically, I'm trying to get a video edited of uh, us putting in the wall. Um, it's mainly just the frame right now, so um, eventually we're going to be getting some drywall when it's not raining. And we'll put drywall up, and then we're going to paint, and then after we paint, then we'll be putting in our new wood floor. So I'm going to be videotaping that as we go. Um, again, I'll uh, let me send you a link to that again. There is, there's a link right there up in the, top left corner there, well, top right on your screen, so. There we go. <laughs> I'll get this eventually. Right there. Yep. Point. Okay. Um, that area, that corner. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have a great night, and I am out. Bye.